today's topic would be uh, will remote working become the new normal post pandemic so a small brief before uh, mr sharma starts mr sharma is currently serving as vice president head of hello world he is also the vice president of national bangalore chapter mr sharma has a graduation in bachelor of engineering from kapur institute of ig technology and an mba hr from university business school chandigarh he is also a certified organizational development practitioner from the indian society for applied behavioral science with a career spanning 20 years he has transitioned from a management trainee at balarpur industries to working for various hr positions in indian oil corporation johnson and johnson and philips india he was also a country hr head and a board member of pe connectivity mr sharma strength and work expertise include workforce strategy operational development and change management cultural building capacity building and employee relations he also sets up various greenfield organizations and also has led business footprint consolidation mr sharma is also ranked as india's top 100 hr influencers influencers to follow on twitter and is a poetry and photography enthusiast i welcome mr sharma to the seminar and the stage is all yours thank you so much so oh, welcome everyone uh, good to share uh, you know my thoughts my experiences uh, with all of you and happy to be here uh, sibm uh, as a brand i have been associated with uh, since quite a long uh, long period when i was used to be in pune i used to kind of interact with a lot with sibm pune students and uh, still continuing to do that good to see that sibm is uh, flourishing growing and setting up new campuses and this is my first interaction with hyderabad the sibm uh, and uh, i am uh, really hoping it will be a really fruitful exercise for for both of us so feel free to ask questions feel free to uh, you know uh, you know give your comments perspectives because it, it's a new way a uh, new way of learning and let's be very clear that all of us are into this situation for the first time we don't know uh, you know before uh, mid march what we are getting into and certainly we were all into it so so it's uh, we all are trying to uh, you know uh, find out what's the right way uh, with our own experiments and each company is trying to do things uh, in its way which is serving the best interest of employees and the customers so that's where we are so if you really look at it uh, coming back to your topic will remote working become the new normal post pandemic uh, it's the most debated topic today in the hr circles whether it's the hr fraternity uh, that i am part of it, uh, whether it's national hrd network which i am part of or whether it's about the country management team uh, within the volvo group and we are talking about it what's going to be the future like uh, especially for working will it be work from home uh, on a higher side now we all know that it industries have had work from home since long but not much as far as the manufacturing industries are concerned now if you really look at it uh, what is that happening uh, with with this pandemic so we are talking about all the social distancing measures so whether we are sitting whether we are traveling if you look at the buses we are saying hey people should be sitting in a zigzag manner if you are sitting with each other uh, we are saying hey you know please have a at least 3 uh, feet of distance uh, between uh, people even when you are having a lunch and dinner you no know, let's not face each other let's keep the side seat uh, vacant uh, you know in offices we are saying hey people should be sitting together so a lot of things which are happening around staggered workforce uh, you know uh, social distancing uh, and the fact that uh, are our offices really really safe uh, for work and people have this question in their mind that if they'll step out what's going to happen uh, so so that's something which is becoming uh, a new phenomena which we never have had heard of earlier at least in my 21 years of career i had never heard of social distancing as a concept uh, in organizations uh, we we never used to talk about it we, we, we never even had this concept at all uh, talking about it, the secondary aspect of it and we had uh, you know a discussion with uh, all the hr leaders across the various spectrums and these are some of the key highlights which are coming out from it and the work from home is coming out as a number one is it how do we really look at work from home as the major strategy going forward and how can we can have policies which are going to support it and interestingly you know in during this uh, pandemic period uh, companies uh, have observed that their productivity level of people have actually gone up uh, many companies have said that in you know, a work from home 
is actually leading to better productivity. Now, if that's the situation, the question is, does it become a new normal? Do we really now need to look at work from home as the new uh, way of working? And do we really need offices anymore? Now, there can flip sides to it also. But the fact that in the last 45 to 50 days that we have been under the lockdown, even those who were always uh, you know, dead against the work from home, they've also started realizing that the value it is coming up with, especially in cities like Bangalore, when people have to travel and you spend about three hours every day uh, on traffic. This is a huge saving and those three hours can be actually put into work uh, or the, the person can be spending that three hours with the family uh, as such without imp without impacting, uh, you know, uh, the the work deliverable. So, so this is something which says this pandemic has opened its eyes to. The second important piece is health and wellness. So when people are there at home, uh, you know, we're talking about, hey, what is the uh, wellness quotient of them? One is the health and wellness in form account of infection prevention, which we talked about earlier. The second important piece is about the mental health. You know, when people are away at home, they are under scare, they are under uh, worry about, hey, whether this pandemic can uh, in infect them or their families, then they don't socialize with, with, with people much. Uh, and there are, you know, uh, issues around emotional, uh, you know, uh, well-being or mental health which are coming up so that's another piece which has come up now and when we're talking about work from home uh, you know, those, are the, uh, those are additional measures which we really need to think uh, um, ar around it and the third critical piece uh, which came up in the survey was about employee engagement and communications that when during this work from home companies have been experimenting with various measures around how do we really uh, you know uh, encourage people uh, to meet with each other at least in a social way through uh, through using technology. How we can have uh, things like uh, you know virtual team meetings uh, with with video. How we can have virtual social sessions or a virtual chai sessions uh, or a virtual just hangout sessions as such. So those becomes the critical aspect of it, and that's companies are actually looking at it now. And 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 all of that is is an important base. If you really look at going forward, uh, you know about the new working, uh, the new normal being the work from home, because then you have to look at all these aspects about productivity, about uh, you know health and wellness, about communication, about employee engagement. So, if you really look at finally the key challenges which a person will, which an organization will face, uh, this is I think this is going to be my last slide, is that how do you really have a clear leadership commitment, clear guidelines, and employee commitment around it? How do you ensure infrastructure, which is there, uh, you know, for people uh, to take care of this new normal of work from home? How do you really balance your work and private life uh, because it becomes a more continuum? How do you really have consistent communication? How do you really have more collaboration tools? How do you really ensure the manager is effective? Uh, and, you know, we change the mindset of managers and how do you ensure that, you know, people are, uh, you know, are able to deal with that anxiety or they are able to deal with the mental health issues? Uh, as such. So with this, I'll close uh, and open to any questions uh, if you have. Dr. Jain, if you would like to have some few words before we go for the Q&A. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Sharma. I agree with uh, I mean, uh, the kind of uh, insights you have uh, given for the new normal way of working. If you are working at home, yeah, the, the idea of, uh, I mean, you insisted on the idea of discipline, uh, you know, ensuring that uh, uh, you, you organize yourself in such a way that you don't take unnecessary breaks and distract yourself and your productivity should not be uh, affected. I think some of these are profound uh, uh, thoughts and rather uh, required uh, to cultivate as a uh, habit. Uh, otherwise, you know, the tendency or the temptation to take a break or have a a parallel chat with uh, you know other uh, groups or other friends and all becomes so normal and that kills the productivity at the same time it also drains you out of your energy levels my question is that given a whole team is working remotely as opposed to when they'll see each other every day in an office how will this remote working uh, environment affect the team dynamics that's an important aspect which you are bringing in, Hashita, because uh, you know, a team, 
you know the more they interact with each other the the better bonding it creates you know the the better understanding it creates uh, the social interactions play a play a big role you know in terms of uh, uh, getting the team together and better and then you deal with those people in that sense in the remote working that becomes a a, a very very challenging aspect the key thing there uh, then is how are you still sensitive to people uh, and you're still trying to listen to the unsaid uh, because uh, you know when somebody is uh, sharing a perspective and and there's a you know revert from the other side uh, you can't see the emotions in the person but you have to feel that way so i think in this uh, remote working you know people have to start feeling more than thinking uh, thinking is important but what we also uh, need to have is a more softer uh, appreciation of the softer aspects and i think this is a new skill which needs to be developed in the people that how do you really feel for the other people how do you really understand the others emotions without really seeing them uh, you know as such in front of you so those are the new skills which need to be there both in the employees as well as in the manager uh whether it's a uh, you know a uh, senior to junior level junior to senior or a peer to peer level at everywhere it will matter but one thing which can certainly help is uh, is something what we do we are trying to do is the virtual team hangouts where we just like all of you are there on a on this kind of a platform we have a internal platform called microsoft teams which we use so we tend to come together have a have a fun session uh, where we just don't talk about work we talked about everything else except for work you know uh, as such or having certain uh, you know fun elements like you know we uh, we had certain uh, session where we said okay everybody just shares one talent which you have and just put those pictures there or put those if somebody sings somebody dances somebody paints you know you should share it with people or we once had a session around sharing people's throwback pics or sharing people's most proud moments Uh, we are talking about the pride, the, the moments which have created, which, which kind of swell their hearts with pride, or uh, you know, uh, or something which is very, very close to them, or something which is a turning point in their lives. So we have been trying to do a lot of such uh, virtual engagements around it, but still, uh, people need to learn to deal, uh, to un- understand it, it more because we have not been doing it till now. i'm a bhiti i'm a marketing student uh, so my question is uh, like talking in particular about manufacturing industry uh, so managers will be able to do the remote working but the operators or shop floor employees uh, they definitely have to go to work on field so the question is how the managers will be able to react to the problems uh, the operators are facing on the field because uh, their understanding will be theoretical as per like what i can think about and since they are not on the field so uh, how can be more efficient uh, in solving the problems of operators you see the roles which are very clearly required to be on the job uh, you know on the line they would be ready to come they can't work remotely in any ways uh, you know until unless we get into very high level of automation where a plant can be controlled sitting that uh, you know at, at one place uh, you know otherwise it can't happen uh, so it will take a lot of time for that to happen so but in the short run uh, those roles will still be there and they would be needed to take care of the issues which you have talked about and they are very relevant points which you talked about but at the same time certain roles uh, may be required to can work from home and thing we'll we'll see that more and more uh, you know on those roles uh, they may they may be coming to office let's say once or twice a week and not really all the you know five days as such so that's how it will happen okay